And I missed the beginning of the meeting because you know I'm doing a million things. Um, but I was hoping that we got started with their started with their accomplishments. They just said they name, and I said DJ, so you know I'm a DJ, but you don't really know who do what, and then it went whack. I know. <laughs> back to hip hop, right? And so when you talk, who is hip hop, right? Hip hop, most of the, most of hip hop starts when you're young. Young people in the Bronx created hip hop, right? And they created, they created hip hop because they wanted something to do, right? And so they, they took instruments and they used the instruments to make sound and have fun. And so we had parties in the park, we had battles. But then, in a different point in time, right, there was a crack epidemic at the same time. And so, when you talk about me, right, I was partying, I was out there hip hop, I gave birth to hip hop, yes. Yeah. But now, the people who I grew up with ended up dead ended up going to jail for 20 and 30 years, right? It was a police force that came into our community. They put the drugs in the community. They put the guns in the community. Because they didn't want you to build wealth and change your conditions, right? So it's all interconnected, right? And so for me, I said I'm gonna break that cycle. And so I started working with the young people, the children of those men and women who were killed or went to jail in particularly Southeast Queens. And from doing that, I was able to build an industry that is the violence prevention industry right now. Right? And so, but it didn't come when I just woke up and walked down the street and said I wanted to do this. Right? I had to fight politicians to put money into our community to fund programming around helping these young people because of the generational trauma from the violence, right? We had to get people funded so that we could be the chief of streets and stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with 